Hello everybody, how are we all? Um, I hope you're looking after yourself in this strange time of COVID-19 lockdown. Um, if there's anything good to have come out of this lockdown is that everybody's uh, having a good go of cooking at home, uh, which is great. Um, I'm going to show you today how to make a feta cheese and some blushed tomato savoury cake. It is like a sponge, so a savoury sponge but nice and cheesy. Um, here we go, one of these. These are perfect served as they are, just like this, straight out of the oven. If you've got any muffin moulds, you can turn them into muffins. Um, great on a picnic, great as a starter. You could even serve it in this beautiful weather in a barbecue, just like you charred on the barbecue. Serve it with a nice steak and some salad. Um, I'll give you a little rundown of the ingredients we've got here. So. 225 grams of self-raising flour. Um, I'm using gluten-free self-raising flour, so this is a good recipe for gluten-free, and I think it helps, it makes the end dish much lighter. Um, we have four eggs, four medium eggs, or we can use three large eggs. We have 100 ml of extra virgin olive oil and 100 ml of white wine in this jug here. Um, there we have a bit of thyme, fresh thyme chopped up. We have 100 grams of, this is vegetarian parmesan, but any hard cheese will do, finely grated. And in here we have 150 grams of feta cheese and 250 grams of sun blushed tomatoes. Um, a greased loaf tin ready to go. And we're gonna garnish this with a bit of cured ham and celery. So first of all, take your flour, crack in your eggs, olive oil and white wine, take a whisk, I'm going to break those eggs down with a nice smooth batter. It's important to do this before you add everything else because you want it nice and smooth. You want that whisk to run through it before you end up with the lumpy pieces of cheese or tomato. So, nice smooth batter. And now we're going to throw the thyme. Grated cheese. Just whisk that through, you don't have to whisk it hard just to mix it through. Pinch of sea salt. But be careful how much you're going to add because I've got feta cheese here, that's really salty, depends what cheese you're going to use. A um, little bit of pepper. Another little stir. Finally, we're going to add the tomatoes and the cheese. Um, so this is the main, apart from the cheesy uh, loaf itself, this is the flavour you're going to add to it. Um, you can use anything really, as long as it's been dried, it's not too wet. So sun-dried tomatoes, perfect. Most of the moisture's been taken out. Um, you could use some, uh, you could use olives, you could use char-grilled aubergines, you could use artichokes um, and cheese. You can use any cheese really as long as it's chunky. It's better if it's a cheese that doesn't melt and it holds its shape when it's cooking. So goat cheese is perfect, feta is perfect. Um, I've used blue cheeses before, they just melt though and you end up with a condenser cake, but it's still really nice. Add those. Fold that through. Take your loaf tin. We're pretty much done. This is one of the easiest recipes I think are out there, and it's really, really good. Really, oops, really tasty. So 
So it's low to turn, I've just got a little bit of oil. This is a silicon one, so it shouldn't stick anyway, but I've put a bit of oil. Um, you can use, if you've got a metal loaf tin, or if you've got uh, muffin cases that you make Yorkshire puddings in, or you can even make a, doing a cake tin, make a round one. Anything you've got at home. Now, you wanna make sure you've got a preheated oven to 175 degrees. We're going to cook this one, this size, for 45 to 50 minutes. It's going to rise quite a lot because of the eggs and the flour. And we'll tell it's cooked because we'll prod a knife in it and when it comes out completely clean, we'll know that that is ready to go. So, I shall stick this in our oven. Okay, so in the oven, we've got 170 degrees and I've gone with 45 minutes and I will check it after that and if it needs an extra five minutes, we'll give it another five minutes. Right, so I've got one that I made earlier that I showed you before. We're going to take a slice of this. I'm just going to show you one thing that you could do with it. Okay. A bit of inspiration, you can do anything you want with it. So I'm going to take a nice slice. We're going to pan fry it in a little bit of butter and oil. Hopefully it won't fall to bits. And then we're going to serve on the top after it's nice and golden. And we've got a bit of beautiful Italian um, cured ham which we bought from our friends at Valle Bonners who are based in Wimbledon. Um, if you're ever around Wimbledon, take a look online, um, take a look in their shop or have a look online, they've got some really amazing stuff. And because we would usually have all kinds of herbs in our fridge, uh, but it's quite empty at the moment because we've not got too many people to cook for um, in these times, um, I've taken the center of some celery out because it's a really, really cool garnish that will be a most industrial uh, kitchen fridges maybe not your own at home but just buy a bit of celery you've got a nice garnish there ready to go um, okay so we shall take this over and go give it a quick tour around this kitchen we've got a big big old kitchen usually Maximum of 11 chefs here, including myself, and a big team of kitchen porters and our whole front of house, the whole catering team. Um, not today though. So, in this pan, we've got this little bit of butter, a little bit of oil, and heat that up. Okay, so I'm just going to go down in the pan, get the beginning to sizzle. I don't want to go too much, I don't want to burn it. Just lightly golden. I can see the butter beginning to brown, which is lovely. A nice nutty flavour. Looking nice. Um, if you're on Instagram, we've got a St. Anne's catering Instagram account. It's uh, St. Under Dash 
and under dash kitchen give it a follow we've got lots of recipes being put up on there all of the time by different members of the catering team and then we've judged them you send your pictures in we've judged them and uh, you get a winner each week every wednesday the winner is announced every thursday a new challenge is set so i'm just going to you can't see this in the picture but i'll show you afterwards i'm going to place a bit of ham on top of here Great little afternoon snack, going an afternoon tea. Good little starter. Going to do a date night. COVID-19 lockdown date night. Perfect. And it takes no time at all. Okay, yeah. So. We have our sun blush tomato and feta cheese savory cake with cured ham and celery. Uh, give it a go at home. Send, your, send us in your pictures if you have an attempt. Great to see them. Um, stay at home, keep safe, bye bye.